Oh, you just poke with the butt? butt? I thought he was gonna poke with the butt too. Oh my god. <laughs> he looked like. He did. And then I was like, but he can't really do that. And then he did it. Welcome back to Duffy Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're going to show a naughty couple in love that loves reacting to some Naruto. Yes, we do. And so this is our Naruto storm journey. Uh, this is part nine of that. And uh, if you want all of our reactions to Naruto, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Yep. Um, we also have a link to our Patreon. Get early ad-free access. We're about a month ahead on our reactions there. Yeah. And so uh, every Friday we're reacting to Naruto and um, check out all the cutscenes from all the storm games. Yep. All right. You ready to check this out? We're just, I think we left off... Uh, Naruto's gonna go get, show uh, Kakashi what, what he's learned. Okay. Ah, there you are. Yes, sorry to keep you waiting. Are you both ready? Yes, Absolutely. Sir. Well, same rules as three years ago. Just take these bells from me. Of course, if you don't actively try, he to, try to take them from your father. You'll never get the bells. We know already! Skip the introduction, let's hurry up and start! Sounds good. Alright. Shall we begin? Yeah! Yes! It looks like... I'll have to work a bit harder. Oh! Alright, bring it! Oh yeah, Kakashi, you're getting your butt kicked. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Guess he's done playing around. Yeah, right? Here's a fireball, kid. Hope you can dodge it. Oh, you just poke, poke with the, the butt? butt? I thought he was gonna poke with the butt too. Oh my god. He looked like. He did. And then I was like, but he can't really do that. And then he did it. <laughs> That's just like you, Kakashi. Huh? Ooh. She's coming in at the last second to take the bells for herself. Whoa. Okay. Now they got waterfalls there. Sweet. Who thought you'd do this well? But next time maybe Sweet. Making him angry. Oh, bye, bells. Mm -hmm. Secret factor. Honestly, didn't you think you'd manage to take awesome, the bells. Sakura. You too. <laughs> All right. Well, well. I never would have believed you two had come this far. I'm surprised, frankly. <laughs> Maybe 
I've surpassed you, Kakashi Sensei. Mm. Like that'll ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> to think they'd surpass my expectations. They really are skilled. Hey, so since we took the bells from you, doesn't that mean we Right. You pass. In a little while, I'll have you taking on missions as Team Seven again. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> well, we'll talk about the future another time. For now, go get some rest. Yep. Catch you later. I won't be able to teleport. <laughs> we did it, Sakura! Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you again. Ditto. Ah, I'm starving. <laughs> I feel like he's a lot like uh, Goku in that sense, where he's always hungry. Yep. So he's gotta eat some ramen. The knuckleheaded ninja. Were you from the Hidden Sand Village? The name's Tamari. It's been a long time, Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then, just a little while ago, I had my first drill. You just got back, and you're already busy, huh? <laughs> By the way, what are you guys up to? Are you on a date? Oh, please. Like I would ever. Ouch. Up to dismiss We're Maddie's. back in the hidden leaf, making arrangements for the next tuning exam. Tuning exam, huh? Brings back memories. Uh, reminiscing is fine. But what are you going to do about the exam? Huh? Why? What do you mean, why? You're the only one in our year who isn't a tuning. What? So, wait. Then Sakura and Choji, Hinata, they're all tuning? That's what I said, isn't it? You're the only holdout. Ah! Gotta be kidding. I'm really the only getting? Well, I'll be. I thought it was pretty noisy around here. And I was right. It is you. Huh? I Iruka Sensei? Yay! I thought even you would have grown up a little in three years, but... <laughs> Ouch. Whoa! I haven't seen you in so long! Iruka Sensei, you haven't changed at all! It's only been three years. Restless as ever, I see. Restless? You better believe I'm restless! I mean, everybody's a tuning except me! Alright, alright. Just calm down. I'll listen to the whole story at Ichiraku. How's that? What? You finished your training with Lord Jiraiya, haven't you? In that case, to celebrate the end of your training, I'll buy you all the ramen you can eat. You're gonna go broke. That's a lot, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was just on my way there. Well then, go on ahead. Once you finish talking, meet me at Ichiraku. <laughs> ramen with the Ruka Sensei. Old times. For some reason that makes me really, really happy. Because it's familiar. Chapter one. Rescue the Kazekage. I see. So that's why you were kicking up such a fuss. Man, everybody's a tuning, and I'm the only Genin. Don't get so hung up on rank, Naruto. You've been training under Lord Jiraiya. That counts for a lot more. Yeah, I guess so. But Iruka Sensei, that pervy you can kick all their tuning ass. Was hmm. My headband and my clothes were in rags. I, I actually had to get new ones. Well, clothes can be replaced. The training you've endured cannot. Why, just look at how strong you've become. It's a good sensei. Yeah, I might be even stronger than you now, Iruka Sensei. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Don't push it, kid. <laughs> Someday, you and me should have a match. Oh. What's wrong? That's right. I keep forgetting to ask you. I know Sakura and the others are tuning, but what about him? What about Gara? Uh, oh yeah, him. 
They refer to him as him. Don't mm. tell me he made Jonin instead of Chunin. Uh, no, he's a bit special. Special? Yeah, he has a gourd full of sand. It looks like a peanut. of art but just in case I brought my specialty just watch and learn Sasori what do you think of my artistic creation hmm? just don't keep me waiting the one-tailed Shukaku's host Gara of the sand that's not what I expect you to look like under there. True, that was definitely surprising. And now I'm in. <laughs> and he's waiting. to my infiltration. Nice work. Just what I'd expect from the Kaze Kage of the Hidden Sand. Hmm. That cloak. You're one of the Akatsuki, aren't you? So the operation failed. Hmm. Well, at least I don't have to search for you anymore. You. All right, let's hurry up and settle this. Hmm. I will protect this village. <laughs> Ooh. Creepy hand. Yeah. Here I go. Mouth in his hand. Yeah. Don't let up now. This is fast. It's like killer pee stubs. Yeah. Sorry, God, I can fly too. Oh, fun. Yeah. Let's say he's holding. I don't know. Well, <gasps> that looks like kind of like a ghost. <laughs> it looks sort of like like one of those bolt things that you like punch and it bounces back at you. Oh yeah. But it's like the ghost form of that. Okay. <laughs> a very funny face. Yeah. I... So it was a bomb. I guess. I feel like he was sad to be a bomb then. <laughs> Based on his facial expression when he was falling, like, I yeah. don't think he wanted to do it. Well, it's because he was going to blow up. He didn't want to blow up. What a huge shield! One day, I'd like to become something precious to others too. And not as some weapon of terror, but as Kazekage. It's a good goal. Mm 
the secret factor unlocks like backstories. Hmm. It seems like. Yeah. Gotta keep that sand prison denser. Ooh. Well, there we go. Now we're talking. Mm hmm. Guess I'll back off for now. Coward. Not letting you escape that easily. As I figured, Kazekage. Just eat him? All right. Now I'm gonna take you someplace fun. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't sound creepy at all. Cue happy music. <laughs> this guy tortures Gara. A little torture chamber. You're both here. Team Seven is about to start its next mission. Hmm. What's wrong, Naruto? Something on your mind? It's just I never thought Gara would become Kazakage. I'm a little bit frustrated, a little bit happy. <laughs> I understand frustrated, but you're happy too. Well, if he's Kazakage, it means everyone's acknowledged him, right? He's probably had a really tough time. Aww. But did it. He worked and worked and became Kazakage. He's such a good guy. I can't help but feel happy for him. <laughs> <laughs> well then, you better do the same. You can't let Gara outdo you in the hard work department. Yeah, I'm gonna work hard on missions and become Okage in no time. That's one thing about you that hasn't changed at all. So let's hurry up and get started on the mission, Kakashi Sensei. Right. But first, let's go see the fifth Hokage and get our next mission. Gotcha. Terrible news. Oh. Quiet down. What is it? We've just received word that the Sans Kaze Kage has been taken prisoner by the Akatsuki. What? Gara's been. Lady Tsunade. All right, Team Kakashi, I'm assigning you a new mission. You're to go to the Sand Village at once and find out what's going on there. You're to remain there and follow their orders. Give them any backup they need. Understood. Okay, we'll leave for the Hidden Sand right away. The Hidden Sand is a fair distance away. Make sure to keep up. You got it. <sighs> Aren't we at the Hidden Sand Village yet? Naruto, you're pushing yourself too hard. If you keep this up, you'll burn out. I can't take this anymore! Huh? I know why they're after Gara and me. You know too, don't you, Sakura? The Akatsuki's come after me before, for the nine-tailed fox sealed mm -hmm. inside of me. Huh? Well, well, I... <sighs> Gara and I are the same. We both have monsters locked up inside of us. That's what these bastards are after. And 
that's the worst part about it. To them, we're just monsters. All they see is the means to an end. Naruto. Everything about us was exactly the same. No one ever understanding us. But I had Iruka Sensei and friends who were there for me. They really saved me. The guy didn't have anybody. And he had to fend for himself a lot longer than I ever did. Never just got like such empathy about mm -hmm. him. And now he's a target of the Akatsuki, just like they targeted me. It's not fair. Why should his life be so full of misery all the time? Why is it always him? That's why I gotta hurry. I don't have a second to waste. It's all right. We understand how you feel. No, you can't. How can you? I want to get there as fast as I can. I want to save Gara now. I know. Thank you, Naruto Uzumaki. We're heading straight for the hidden sand. No breaks. Now come on, let's go. Tamari and Shinobi from the Hidden Leaf Village. What's happened to Gara? Baki will fill you in on the details. For now, we just need to get you to the Kazekage's mansion. Gotcha. Baki. Tamari. He looks Gara intense. Mm -hmm. From the Hidden Leaf Village. Tell me about Gara. What's happened to him? Yes. Unfortunately, the Akatsuki still have him. You've sent a tracking unit after them, right? What have they reported? They say the Akatsuki have taken Gara and are making for the land of rivers. Rivers, huh? Well, then we can't just sit here. Let's go after them, Kakashi Sensei. Baki, we'll head to the land of rivers and rescue the Kazekage. My thanks. We're in your debt. Naruto, Sakura, I'm going to contact the Hidden Leaf. While I do, you two get ready. Yes, sir! We've just received word from Kakashi. He says that the Akatsuki have taken the Kazekage and are heading for the Land of Rivers. I'm assigning you essentially the same mission as Team Kakashi. Get to the Sand Village as fast as possible and provide any support necessary. Is she talking? Is that clear? Crystal. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll make it to Some the guy. Of rivers in okay. one day. Oh, you're definitely dead. I think we can make it in half a day, Sensei. Wait, that's his name, Guy. Okay, Guy Lee. Three days, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, what's the point of making promises we can't keep? Huh. Forward, everyone. Let's make for the land of rivers. I mean, he's dead. He's got some pizzazz. Phew. Hey, could we take a break soon? Complaining already? You are out of shape. What? What did you just say? Enough talking, you two. Fight. Huh? Something's coming. Oh, I guess you are gonna fight. That's weird. What? Well, well, finally. Wait a minute. You know this person, Guy Sensei? Who are you? <gasps> Maybe now you know who I am. One day you're called a beast. Your intelligence is certainly subhuman. Oh, yeah. Let me refresh your memory. He has an incredible amount of chakra. So this is one of the Akatsuki. Now then. Kiss me. Kiss me now. Water clone jutsu? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, gang, here we go. Split up into two groups. Neji, 
Can I take the fuzzy end off his sword or whatever? Yes, sir. Here I come. I'm not done playing with you yet. He really is tough. In that case, why don't we step up our game as well? Okay. I won't try and talk you out of it. I'll let you learn the hard way. Certainly full of yourself. So yeah. Sure. Yeah. Trigram 64 pounds. So, I finally like settle my score with you. Hmm. You know, I keep feeling like I've met you before. Somewhere. Maybe. It's no good. I can't remember. Guy's got like a talk show host like voice or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or a game show host. He's very presentational. Yeah. With my blade shark skin here, I'll cut you to ribbons and make you remember. This murderous intent, he is no ordinary foe, is he? Nope, he's a dick. The smallest slip could cost you your life. Yes, sir. Alright. Here I come. I really gotta fuck to this one hand behind his back. Oh, I guess not. I suppose I should have expected no less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has been rather enjoyable, but it looks like our times. Oh, he was just there to uh, run away. Unfortunately, uh, distraction. Our final showdown will have to wait. She's there to delay you. Until then, <laughs> take care not to die. Hmm. Dick. Yeah. Hmm. He was a fairly strong opponent. It looks like you finished too. Neji, Tan Tan, are you all right? Yes, we managed somehow. I see. He gave you trouble too. So, what was he after anyway? Well, I know we're all concerned with his motives, but... Yes, it's just as Neji says. We need to hustle and catch up with Team Kakashi. Let's go. R right. <laughs> okay, we'll save the thinking for later. Right now, we trek on. You can do your pose. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we got to choose some new characters, a new team, a um, couple of new bad guys. Uh, or like, I mean, I guess we, bad guys would be like kind of seen when like they were gathering up the villains uh, for our Katsuki or whatever. Um, but like, I really love the um, Naruto and um, Gara uh, sort of like, I don't know if it's a, a friendship um, or like kinship or just like, just understanding like, like Naruto is just like, knows no one else really knows what he's going through other than Gara. Um, but he's like, it is one of those instances where, and it's like, uh, it's very hard to, to see. And, um, like I said, he's got a lot of empathy of Naruto, but to be able to understand that, like, Hey, I could have ended up a villain. I could have ended up like, you know, um, doing some bad things if I didn't have good people around me to guide me. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I I love what's going on there, that dynamic. I really couldn't have said it better. Um, <laughs> I I completely agree. I think, you know, um, Naruto's empathy with Gara is such a reminder to all of us that humans are capable of both good and bad. Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, a, in a lot of ways, if not the majority, how we are nurtured by those around us that shapes who we are. Naruto got lucky and Gara did not. And Naruto is very, very aware of that. Yeah. Um, which for all of his arrogance and, and his kind of like youthful braggadocious 
quality about him, it's this piece that balances that and makes him such an attractive character. Because if he was all, I'm going to be Hokage, I'm going to be the best yeah, all yeah. the time, especially as the leading character, that would get so old and become such a turnoff. But mm -hmm. it's not that. It's that all of that comes from a place of wanting to prove himself. And I think also, in some respects, giving back to the place that made him who he is. Um, and that's makes him a very attractive leading character. Yeah, for sure. Um, and so I wasn't sure, like, I mean, some of the ins and outs of what's going on here, like, I mean, he was upset because uh, it's everyone else, like, in his class, whatever, got promoted to tune in. And, like, I guess, is that sort of just, I mean, just to make it, uh, simplify it, I know it's not going to be the exact same thing, but kind of going up, like, belt levels, like, in, like, karate or something like that, like, black belt and, like, you know, um, that's kind of what I thought it was. But, like, I was also wondering, then why, since he was uh, training with Master uh, Jiraiya, has he not gone up? Like, I guess he just hasn't taken, like, the test yet to go up there? Because it seems like uh, his sen old sensei was saying, like, how um, lucky he was to be training with Master Jiraiya and, like, how that would make him um, even better as a as a fighter and as a ninja. Um, so I would think that, you know, like, can Master Jiraiya not, like, give the test and, like, hand out, like, the ranks or whatever? So I was a little confused about that. It almost made me think of that episode in Game of Thrones where the... Um, men in the Night's Watch are all getting their assignments and mm. Jon Snow is given um, not, not oh, the Oh, yeah, but yeah, the, um, yeah, steward. The steward. Yeah. And he freaks out because yeah. he's so qualified to be a ranger and how could he be wasting his time as a steward and what, a, what an under usage of his skills. But mm -hmm. like they were intentionally kind of putting him at that lower spot and holding them back slightly to make him a better leader long term mm -hmm. and for a bigger plan. So that just kind of made me wonder if that's what the whole situation with Jiraiya was that like, yes, you're qualified, but to make you a better person and a better fighter in the long run, we're going to like kind of pace out your progress so that you learn everything. Um, I'm probably making stuff up and just putting stuff on <laughs> in, in my own interpretation. But I would love if there is sort of like a key to this because we've got the Hokage, the Kagage, the Chunin, the yeah. Jonin, the, uh, there was one with a G2, Jenin. I'm, I'm definitely not saying him right at all. Yeah, I think but, so that's what uh, Naruto uh, was. Yeah, so there's that one and then there's Chonin, which seems like it's the one above and yeah. then Jernin, I think there was a J one that was like one above that because he was like, Gara can't be a, a Jernin or or whatever it was. Or Jen, yeah, Jenin or something like that. Yeah, Jen, um, yeah. So if there is a key to help Kasukage. us understand, since we haven't played the game and we aren't in the loop, please do provide us with that information because that would be very helpful. Um, so we have a little bit better sense of what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, and then like when, that was another thing I liked about uh, Naruto when um, the Kasakage or whatever, uh, that Gara had become, which again, not necessarily like how that all uh, plays out. I don't know, I guess that's like kind of like being the Hokage of the, the so like if the Hokage is the um, leader or whatever, protector um, of the Hidden Leaf Village, then I assume like the Kasakage or whatever is that for like um, Gara's village. Okay. Is what I, is what I think um, it, it breaks down to. And, but like how Naruto was like, happy he's like you say he's like I'm both you know like jealous and upset like and also uh happy for him but to have to have that because i think it's like you know natural for like you know your peers like if if someone else like is uh advances farther than you quicker or something like that to have that to have that jealousy but like it's not always uh, natural for like to have that like also that happiness and like okay well they you know he really deserves it or you know he really worked, worked hard for it he could really use it and um like you know this is a good thing for him so again it's just um Really impressed with his his empathy and his um, just overall cheerful attitude. Yeah, I did love Naruto's honesty in that moment to acknowledge yeah. all of what he was feeling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I think often in society, there's kind of like this expectation, like you can't be jealous for a friend. Yeah, exactly. Like you have to be happy for them or you're a bad person. Mm -hmm. But that's not the reality of human nature. <laughs> like, Human nature is I can be both happy for a friend and insanely jealous of the opportunity they got. And exactly. I haven't found that yet for myself. Like that exactly. is that is normal. But to say that I 
can't feel one way is almost like saying like, you can't have chocolate all the time. Like, it's like, it makes you want it more. It makes that feeling stronger. So like, I think as a society, we kind of set ourselves back sometimes by trying to um, set parameters of how a person should feel versus what Naruto is doing, which is just very transparently, openly, and honestly acknowledging all of what he feels. And that is insanely refreshing. Yeah. And like, so you can't change how, how something makes you makes you feel. I mean, you can like, you know, try to process it and try to, you know, um, and through processing it, like, like Naruto was saying and talking it out uh, and expressing like your emotions that helps you like deal with it. But like, it reminds me of um, Pulp Fiction and um, Uma Thurman and <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> Uma Thurman and uh, John Travolta in the diner and they're talking and um, John Travolta is like, oh, you know, I'm going to ask you something, but you got to like, you know, promise not to get offended. And Uma Thurman's like, no, I, nobody can promise that. She's like, you know, because if I promise that or whatever, and then what you say, like my natural reaction might just be to to get offended. You know, that's something that I can't control. And therefore, like I broke my promise now, like through no fault of my own. And it's the same thing. Like, you know, like you were saying, we're told that we can't get, you know, je- you're not supposed to be jealous. You're only supposed to be like happy of it, you know, for, for, for your friends and loved ones. And it's like, yes, you are. But like, you can also be both things. And um having that jealousy or whatever, having those feelings come up, uh, you know, doesn't make you a a bad person. (laughs) Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, to go off of the Uma Thurman thing, sometimes somebody's going to say something that's going to offend you because of the way your brain processes it and the filters it goes through. And it is only through talking it out with that person that you might understand in, in their capacity from saying it that it was completely not the way you interpreted it. Mm. Um, but again, that only comes from knowing your feelings and acknowledging it and talking it out versus like, I'm not allowed to be offended, therefore I yeah. will pretend not to be in this moment and just stew over it, which is never going to be good. And all things which, I mean, I imagine he's in his like teenage years or whatever, or if not like uh, younger than that, um, that it's very uh, impressive that Naruto has even gotten to that point where he's able to like, deal with deal with those emotions and, and like have that sort of maturity about him again very impressive yeah agreed let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments and if uh you want early ad free access to our naruto journey check out the description of this video because we got a link to our patreon there and a playlist for all of our naruto reactions so if you are just checking us out now you can go ahead and catch up happy binging yeah thanks so much for checking out our reaction for our naruto journey part nine but just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive